The Nikon Z 50mm f 1.8s has been a lens that I've had for over a year now. I've used it on a ton of shoots, everything from street photography, portrait photography, to freelance photography, and so on. I think I'm ready to make my full long-term review of it in the year 2022, so let's jump right in and talk about it. What's up guys, I'm Project Photography back in the video and today people today. 50 millimeter lenses have been traditionally known as the starter lenses. They tended to be cheap, plasticky, and pretty mediocre when it came to image quality. It was dubbed the Nifty 50 because of all those reasons. It was meant to be that lens that got people into photography, learning all about it because it had the aperture of f1.8 and a fixed focal length of 50 millimeters known as normally the standard focal length. It was perfect for a lot of those photographers. But the lens that I'm reviewing today, the 50mm f1.8 S for the Nikon Z mount, breaks all of those stereotypes and all of that traditional mold that the Nifty 50 had as a staple for a lot of starter photographers. But in this video, I really want to give my deep dive into this lens because I've been using it for over a year and in the year 2022, it is now a four year old lens. But it's a lens that I find to be a staple in my bag whenever I'm going anywhere. And really, it's just an incredible lens overall. So to start this video, we're going to be talking about the ergonomics of this lens. Then we're going to be talking into the image quality and then finishing off with the conclusion. Not a super long review, but it's one that I really want to dive in to those three topics in particular. Ergonomics and image quality mainly. And to start off with ergonomics, let's talk about the size and the build quality of this lens. Because it is larger than a traditional D50. Traditional Nifty 50s have been, you know, more of a pancake size lens, but this is probably two times the size of those lenses. And I actually really like this as a photographer. I think it makes it really well to balance with something like a Nikon Z6, which is a much larger body. And it supports a larger mount because the Nikon Z mount is definitely bigger than your SLR mounts that these Nifty 50s would traditionally be on. And this lens itself to be actually a very nice, well-built lens. It doesn't feel cheap and plasticky like the traditional Nifty 50s do. It is very solid in ergonomics and you know it has a metal mount on top of it and this is something that i really enjoy as a photographer because i don't want to feel like the thing that i'm putting onto my two thousand dollar camera is something cheap plasticky and it just doesn't feel well so having that metal mount is definitely a plus in my book and i've used this lens a lot i've beaten it up and it just doesn't falter when it comes to the build quality i can be sure that's going to stand the test of time when it comes to actually using this lens. One thing that I also really like about this lens is that even though it is a little larger when it comes to the actual build size, it doesn't take up too much space in your bag. It is still a prime lens. It is still extremely lightweight. And I think it's really important to consider what this lens is, you know, being used for. We were talking about traveling. We're talking about using it for portrait work. We're talking about using it for potential freelance work. And I think having the larger, you know, sort of build of the lens, but also being smaller in weight and in form compared to lenses like the 50 millimeter f 1.2 still serves a great need in that marketplace. And having the right balance between size, weight, and feel of the lens is definitely a big selling point for this lens and for a lot of photographers in general. I overall really like the build quality of this lens and I think it's just it's just a good well-built lens. But let's jump right into the image quality because I think this is the biggest selling point for a lens like this. You know, traditionally 50 millimeters with 1.8s have not had the best image quality, but this lens breaks that mold. It's so incredible when it comes to image quality. It even rivals something like the 24 to 70 f 2.8s, which is what literally the best lens that I've ever used. This 50 millimeter is the best 50 millimeter I have ever used because it's just so incredibly sharp from corner to corner. At f1.8, I don't have to worry about, you know, softness. I don't have to worry about stopping down to f2 or 2.8 to get the best out of this lens. No, it is extremely sharp corner to corner. And one thing I really love about this lens is that when you take photos, the images really pop out of the lens. They feel so deep, so great when it comes to micro contrast. And I love the images that come out of this lens. I use this lens actually a lot for my portrait work and for flash photography. And you can see these images here. They're absolutely stunning. And you know, when it comes to actually using flash with this lens, it's really nice because you can really isolate the subject matter at hand, right? We're having the flash going as well as kind of having that bokeh in the background, mix the images and the subject matter really stand out. And one thing that I think having an amazing performer when it comes to image quality with this lens 
is that you can really feel like you can take this anywhere and get incredible images no matter what the circumstances. And for only around $500, it's an absolute steal what this lens can produce. If I'm really comparing it to a $2,000 lens like the 24 to 70, it must say something about that lens. It honestly just makes the photography experience more enjoyable overall because if I'm taking images that I love, I can really be in awe of these images and I just really enjoy the photos that come out of this lens. It's super incredible. And for a 50 millimeter that traditionally, you know, the Nifty 50 hasn't had a great image call, this breaks that mold again. This is not your stereotypical 50 millimeter lens. And it's something I really want to reiterate in this video. You really feel like you're getting a premium lens and not such a premium price point. And they constructed this, this lens so well to have the great image quality, to have the great ergonomics and so on. I think that's the reason why a lot of people really like this lens and gravitate towards it. So anyways guys, let's move into the conclusion. And this lens is amazing. I've reiterated this a lot in this video that this lens breaks the mold of what a traditional 50 millimeter is supposed to be. Not only is it larger in size, but it also makes it feel like a more complete, cohesive lens that you're not just throwing a piece of plastic on this lens. It's incredible when it comes to ergonomics and I feel like it makes the use and the experience of this lens much better. It has incredible image quality. Like I said, it rivals a 24 to 70 f2.8 and that's a $2,200 lens. Well, this is a $450 lens. And I really like that I can go out and take images with this lens and feel like, you know, I'm not sacrificing anything when it comes to image quality at all. It is the best 50 millimeter lens that I have ever used. And it is so incredible. Just look at the images. I mean, I think they speak for themselves. But with all those benefits does come a slightly larger price tag. You know, Nifty 50s are traditionally $200 where this is closer to a $400, $500 lens. But honestly, I think what you're sacrificing in terms of price you make up for in so many different areas when considering the ergonomics, when considering the image quality and so on. I really love how this lens feels. I love the images that come out of it. And it's just overall a really solid performer. And I think the focal length and the aperture that it's had at, you know, it's the 50 millimeter f1.8. So it's perfect for things like street, perfect for travel photography, perfect for, you know, freelance work even. I just use it for absolutely anything. And if you're a Nikon Z photographer coming into the system, this is probably one of the first lenses that you should pick up. I would argue that you should probably get this lens over something like a 24 to 70 f4 because this lens is just that good and the price even though it is not absolutely you know the cheapest lens possible it's one that you're gonna have for a long time if you don't get something like the 15 millimeter f 1.2 s you know you can be comfortable with this lens and know that the image quality is going to be pretty much just as good you know this lens came out in 2018 but four years later it is still one of the best lenses you can pick up for the nikon z system i would argue it's one of the best value lenses even though it's not necessarily the cheapest in price what you're getting out of it for that little of a price is absolutely incredible so let me know what you guys think of this lens let me know what you guys think of this video i am absolutely in love with this lens i think this is something that i'll probably keep over on for a long time just because of its lightweightness it's incredible image quality and it's practical use in pretty much every single photography scenario so let me know what you guys think of this video down in the comment section down below do you have a nikon 50 millimeter f 1.8 1.8 s and if you do what was your experience with it? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for experiencing the world with me today, and I will catch you guys in the next one.